forecast. It's still going to be cloudy, but not much real heavy rain coming out of those clouds right now. A live look at our WVTM 13 live Doppler. Spotty showers have been making their way through Double Springs and heading for Jones Chapel. Car Coleman too, probably going to see a little bit of an uptick in the amount of showers that are falling from the sky, but the dim skies the overcast skies, they will continue for most of your morning and into early afternoon. We will see some breaks briefly, and that's as the weather starts to change. Pollen counts are still moderate today. We do expect them to be a little bit lower heading into Thursday because we're going to get a good rain soaking on Thursday. But once we dry out Friday, Saturday, those pollen counts are back up. We'll have the sunshine, but the pollen will still be an issue as soon as that sun comes back out. So most of the rain has been riding along the same spots, areas of Memphis, the Tennessee Valley. That's why you've heard probably a lot of talk of potential flooding around the the Tennessee River. It's still going to maintain its presence until we can get that weather feature to shove all of that rain out to our south and east. Not going to happen until we get towards Thursday. So for today, most of the action on our forecast models are still north and west of 2059. That's three o'clock in the afternoon. Warmest part of the day may see a few more heavy downpours, but notice areas like Tuscaloosa County, Calera into uh, Alex City, not getting much rain until we start to see a little bit of progress with this front. It looks more well defined by three o'clock in the morning on Thursday out to our north and west, arriving into our backyards by about eight o'clock in the morning on Thursday morning through Coleman. That line of showers and storms that narrows a bit as it pushes through midday on Thursday and then another little bit of a soaker into the afternoon. But by the time we finish up Thursday, even by 11 p.m., we will start drying out and cooling down too. So this isn't going to be a big cool down that's going to happen rapidly. We don't expect those cooler temperatures until Friday because all we see is mild weather. In fact, it's 80 degrees in the Big Easy right now. So still pretty stable and still pretty mild, but that's good news because it will also help to break down that line of showers and storms heading into Thursday. We have that impact graphic on there for you because we've had so much rain, because we've had double the amount in February that we usually get on an average year. It's not going to take much to see some brief localized flooding in those poor drainage areas and anywhere around the Tombigbee River Valley, the Black Warrior River Valley and the Cahaba River Valley. These are areas that are already really swollen, so you could be impacted while you're driving around. You see the cones, you know the drill, find another route. Lots of sunshine for Friday, though. Saturday and Sunday, too. Cooler mornings, upper 30s, maybe even a few frosty spots Saturday and Sunday morning. The rain chances, they return by Monday. Back